Ask credit by banana slipstream. What phrase or word instantly makes you roll your eyes? Please remain on the line. Your call is very important. Yes. Deleted. When someone calls something a life hack or any kind of hack. Usually something stupid. Always infuriating. That's not a cooking hack. You're just giving the recipe. My kid would never do that as a teacher. Yes, they most certainly wouldn't have. It's the opposite for me. At my daughter's teacher parent conference, we were stunned when the teacher said our little girl was one of the most well behaved kids in her class. She is the one in her friend group outside of school who tends to be the ringleader and instigator of the shenanigans. When people ask a question on Facebook and say and go. Agreed. Like there's an expectation that we're waiting to fall all over ourselves to help with something they likely could have googled themselves. Your boss says, we are a family. We work hard and play hard. Unpopular opinion but. And it's the most agreeable, typical opinion you've ever heard. I tell it how it is. I'm a zodiac sign. I can't help it. I'll tell it how it is equals I could not care about you less and I cannot handle not speaking my mind immediately because I am simply that immature and narcissistic. I'm a life coach. Translation. I think that working at McDonald's is beneath me, but I have no skills to get any other position. On Reddit. Overrated and underrated. Underrated comment right here on how those words are overrated. This is my truth. I reject your reality and substitute my own. I did a thing. And then the thing is something like a baby. I've been using that wrong then because usually when I say that, it means, I kinda fucked up and now there are consequences, but don't worry it's not traumatic and likely a little funny. Any sort of overused joke. There's so many. Like when an item doesn't scan and the customer says well it must be free as if the cashier has never heard that before. I used to work at McDonald's and I'd ask people what they would like and they'd say, a million dollars. And I'd be like, haha. And the empty draft where my soul once was would blow a little colder. Corporate speak. When people say things like leveraging synergies, green lighting the way forward or having an, insert your favorite corporate buzzword, mindset. But my absolute pet peeve is when people say we need to socialize this idea. You can't socialize ideas. You can socialize at parties, or socialize a pet. Heck, you can even socialize the means of production if that's your cup of tea. Anyway, I'll have a quarter pounder and a sundae. Can we just put a pin in this and circle back on it later? We just need to find our North Star so we can operationalize our game plan. You know what they say, you have to break a few eggs to make omelettes. Lately it is the overuse of IYKYK. Means if you know, you know for any of the several people wondering. Over the last few years, we're all in this together. Unprecedented times. You understand after some affront like cancelling plans, a boss messing with your schedule, etc. No I do not understand and your lack of planning skills will not be my problem. In the same vein as we can both agree that, when we do not agree. Alpha male. I'll add on sigma male to this. Not to be mean but. Influence and hope just piss off with that shit. Influencer is like when a kid from a mega rich family gets to be called a socialite, philanthropist, and public personality on their Wikipedia page. No those are just synonyms for rich and not having to work. Though you can always add the word crypto before the word influencer and make it a hundred times worse. I'm an empath. Last time I heard this I was in a room full of people at a memorial. 
It was for one of those people who really made everyone feel seen and loved. Definitely over 100 people. The death was expected and the deceased helped with all the planning. One part was an option for people to speak and after some of the most beautiful speeches I have ever heard one woman stood up and started with I am an empath, and proceeded to explain how that meant she was feeling more pain than any of the rest of us and how hard it was for her. Then she had a long speech all about herself. All about herself. I could just puke if I ever hear that phrase again. I could care less. Me too. I so hate when people say this. It literally means the opposite of what they are trying to say. Supposedly. Pacifically. My truth. Saying those doctors don't know shit, I know what's best for my baby. I recently was training someone at work who had a stroke and was on blood thinners because, the stroke. Doctors don't know what they're doing these days why do I have to take blood thinners? Like dog, how do you have a stroke and acquire zero information about anything? The customer is always right. No no they are not. Triggered as overused. Deleted. Can't you just let it go? No, you toxic piece of shit. I'm not going to overlook your behavior. All that's in the past, I'm talking about now to imply that their past behavior isn't relevant. Influencers. I'm OBSESZ. My account was hacked it wasn't hacked you clicked a sketchy link that asked you to log into a fake site, or fell for some scam. For all intensive purposes. You're trying to sound intelligent and failing miserably. I do this on purpose, irregardless. I thought I was the only one who there are 7 billion people on the planet who thought you were the only one to do anything. We should normalize. A lot to unpack. Body count. Up until recently I thought body count meant amount of people they've killed. Those were confusing times. Prigo, hubby, kiddos, doggo. My wife referred to herself as Pregas once. She heard the word come out of her mouth and immediately apologized. I've done my own research. You do no plus trivial obvious point plus right? People who use this crappy little passive aggressive construction are the worst and the related. Wait, you didn't know, random obscure fact? Could've, should've, would've, etc. It's have thank you. Have of, have of, and have of. I have of looked this up sooner. People just don't wanna work anymore. No grandpa, People just want to be fairly compensated for their work and not have to work 60 hours a week to be able to barely survive. I had a conversation with my mom, in her 70s, about this a few weeks ago. She said that phrase. I calmly explained the current cost of living situation. Now she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. When I talk about that I soon get my tubes tight and people come up with you'll regret that. Children are a gift. Got a hysterectomy earlier this year and the look of pity I sometimes get is something else. I never wanted kids and I had debilitating pain. What about that said I wanted kids? No periods, an extra room in my house, and money to take vacations are good enough for me. Influencer. Hubby. The hubs. Speak my truth. Everything happens for a reason, just another excuse to not be held accountable for your own decisions. Alpha, simp, beta. I am a Christian in any business transaction. I know instantly via long experience that I am about to be scammed. Yes. Where I live. We have this company that constantly advertises Christian housekeepers and Christian pest control really chaps me. 
after the worst nonsense bigotry comes out of people's mouths and you push back, they shrug and go, slightly peaked. I'm just saying. Yeah mofo, that's the problem. You should adopt. There's a lot of kids that need homes, because my husband and I can't have kids we've heard this so many times. Adopting from foster care is not for the faint of heart. Take normal child rearing and add childhood trauma to it. Not everyone can handle that. A mate of mine has three kids and two foster kids. He hasn't had any hair for a while now. Riz so annoying. Literally and gaslighting. Unpopular opinion. I hate the phrase begs the question. I know that this is a lost cause, so you don't have to convince me of that. That being said, the original meaning of begging the question is actually a really useful way to refer to a specific type of circular reasoning. I wouldn't mind quite so much except for the fact that there's a perfectly good alternative to use, which is raises the question. Calling pregnant women, or referring to your pregnant self, as either preggers or prego, 